What is up? Welcome back to a very exciting episode of Hook and Bass 92. Today's episode, I'm going to reverse things and flip flop things just because I had to get a truck to get the rest of the rocks. I probably need about 20 to 25 more. And Brad's not going to be with me because he's at work. So I'm going to wait until I get my brother's truck so we can go, me and him and my brother, to get the rest of the rocks. But today, guys, yeah, today I'm going to my local pond and getting some fish. I don't know what I'm going to get. It's going to either be a bass, bluegill, sunfish, whatever. But I got all my things downstairs. I got like the bait bucket. I'm only going to bring one rod and one reel with a little tiny hook of a piece of bread and put a Senko on it for this miniature bass. If I see him, I'm just going to catch him. Put them in a bait bucket, then bring them home to my house and put them in my pond. Um, I did put chlorine stuff in there so the water should be good. I did put a big, big tree branch in there and some rocks where the fish recover. So it looks like a natural environment. So right now, I'm going to go downstairs, put all my stuff in my car, and I'll see all of you guys at the pond. Got to the pond. Got the bucket, bait bucket full right there. So all we need is a fish. The only thing I'm worried about is someone's gonna say something to me. But if they do, we'll just put it back and I mean, I'll live back here for over 20 years and paying all those Blake fees. If you don't want me to take like one fish, that's kind of ridiculous. Bites will be great. They usually bite over here. There's one. Oh no, I missed him. Come on, come back. Crap, I just had one. dog method and throw it out there and I'm pretty sure you'll get one off a hot dog. We'll definitely eat this hot dog. The only thing about it is it's pretty light. But we'll see. Throw it out there. Perfect. Hopefully there's a bass sitting there. Oh my god, he took it off. Definitely was a bass. Ugh. These fish are going to be harder than to catch than what seemed to. <clears throat> Put it back on there. There's like something right. Literally right. Right there. And just sitting there waiting. It's the second time I've seen him come up. I think it's a little bass. Looks, he's going after it again. Oh, no. What is that? <laughs> Whoa. Has to be a bass or a bluegill. I don't know. There again. I don't know. It might be a bluegill. No idea. Yeah, it's a little decent sized bluegill. Put that in there. But I'm going out there a bass. I don't want a bluegill now. Might have to use a Senko for the bass. Hit the blue go keep taking the hot dog. Right. Rip it right out there again. It's a little bluegill again, they're all bluegill. I'm actually going to take this one because it's like a pretty sunfish. Take him, put him on in here. So that's one fish. Let's see if we can get any more. Here's another 
here's another one. Another perfect sunfish right here, guys. All right, guys, so our second little fish that's going in the pond right there. Two sunfish we got. All right, so I just got home from the pond. As you guys can see, I caught two sunfish and they're actually in the bait bucket below and I'm just waiting for Brad to get here so we can put them in the pond. I mean, they're really pretty fish and I think they'll be really, really good for the pond. I mean, the pond's like 2,000 gallons, so it's plenty big for them and I'm just excited. What I used was a hot dog to get them, as you guys could see. So again, waiting for Brad and once he gets here, we're gonna release all the fish in the pond. Okay, so as you guys can see, we caught two sunfish, put them in the water. They look really good right now. I think they're underneath the rock right now. Water should be good. They've been there for like three or four hours and you can still see them swimming. Um, yeah, so that's about it for today's exciting episode of Hook and Bass 92, guys. Make sure you hit that like button and make sure to hit that subscribe button and comment below and let me know if you like those sunfish. And I got two new fish. What, what should I give them the names? I have no idea why I should name them. Comment below and let me know what do you think I should name them. And as always, catch big fish. Have a great day.